In this week's episode, we transform our galley from this to this. So we are packed and ready to go to out here slash ragdoll. Daria, the Queen of Poland, has decided that she wants the whole galley completely changed. Hey, it wasn't just Something my decision. Wrong <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Missing a few key parts of it, you know, like the entire workshop. Right, Chris. Okay, well, the galley on Altair was very tired. The, uh, the old laminate worktop had been in place since 1995. It was cracked, it was chipped, burned, peeling the fridge the stove moldings are in a really poor state they were burned and chipped too we didn't want or need a second fridge the plumbing was a disaster of leaks and nasty moldy hose uh, the existing hob and microwave oven they were disgusting and there was there was something not Yay. right about them they just didn't work when asked So, we just needed to strip it out and begin again. So, it was out with the big guns. Crowbars, saws, hammers, anything that we could use to quickly remove the, the unwanted parts of the galley. We removed the fiddle rail, we carefully removed that and stored it away for safekeeping. Uh, the old second fridge tub, we, we, we didn't care much for that, so it was thanked for its years of service and uh, it was unceremoniously lobbed over the side in disgrace. Bye, freezer. Is it coming out? Certainly scared. Daria, the Queen of Poland, has decided that this is going to be storage for all her appliances and pots and pans and things. Oh man, this is filthy. Could be worse. Like that literally hasn't seen the light of day since 1995. We're making progress. It's good. As surfaces were revealed by the galley's destruction, they were all cleaned up, demolded, sanded and painted out with white international dandling. I took the opportunity to sort out a leaky tank selector valve with a new distribution manifold. Uh, a new shelf got built and fitted into the space created by the fridge delete. Onto the stove and fridge mouldings. I had three choices here. Option one, and the least work. Repair and polish the white gel coat and try to get it looking good. I didn't fancy my chances though. It was ancient and really badly deteriorated. Option two was rebuild the mouldings in RAL 7021 black grey gel coat and GRP. 
This would be the ultimate solution, but it was a lot of work that I didn't have time for. And option three, which was prepare and paint in a high quality two pack paint and hope we get a good colour match between the gel coat of the worktop and the paint. So to get the job moving along quickly, I opted for option three, paint. I am glad I did and it was the right choice given the circumstances from an effort, time and budget perspective. You can't tell that the mouldings have been painted. The Perfection Pro rolled on with three coats, levelled out and just looked great. Meanwhile, working in parallel at home, I made up the mould for a new worktop. I used 18mm melamine faced MDF for a mould face, along with battens, mould release tape and wax filleting kit to build the mould from the template we had made at the boat. We drew an IKEA chopping board for a fridge lid too. The worktop got laminated up in polyester gel coat and resin for simplicity and low cost. Also, ease of any future repairs if needed. The build took weeks of careful mould making and laminating. Eventually, when we released a part from the mould, we were delighted that we had got it right the first time. After a few hours with the compounding wheel, we had a deep mirror gloss. Getting it on board was fun, as it was still flexible and we were worried about it snapping, so we carefully battened and rigged it for a lift with the main halyard. How are we ever going to get this in? So this is the first try. I've just cut it to template. Well, could you flick those toggles in? Yeah, in the same. And just check the other side. Okay, docking. Docking. It doesn't fit! <laughs> So we just need to cut these off, put inserts in, and we're good to go. Excellent! Once in and sealed, the worktop and all its accessories looked just great. So while the galley is usable for now, we still have plenty to do to finish off this galley project. I've got to template for and laminate up the backsplashes, I have to fit a new saltwater foot pump and tap, I have to seal everything up uh, with grey CT1 and then do a final compounding and wax. So we also want to do some fancy LED coloured underlighting as well, that would be great. 
Stay tuned for all that to come in a future episode. Well, I guess that's us for this week. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, like this video and leave us a comment below. And if you don't want to miss the next episode of Sailing Ragdoll, where we put our steering back together using Dyneema, hit the subscribe button and the little bell below, and thanks for watching. Till next time! <laughs>